Hey, when you're using a WooCommerce loop grid, it can look a little bit boring when you're just using the add to cart widget you can see it on the screen right now. And even when you use the custom add to cart, it doesn't look perfectly correct. I'm going to show you how you can stylize it with a tiny bit of CSS to make it look like this. This is what you're going to be used to seeing when you add the add to cart widget to your loop grid for your products. Now, if you've got variations, it will say select the options. You click that and it will take you over to the page where you can go and select your variations. But that is then a click. And if a customer is unsure of what they want, they may be going back and forth because they're going to go, well, what are the options? And over here, you can enable to show the quantity or not within the widget. And I'll quickly show you that over here. If I go to the style tab for the add to cart widget, you go to quantity, you can decide whether you are going to show that or not. Now, you do have another widget that you could use. So I'm just going to hide this. Ding, ding, ding. And we are going to go down to the traditional one that you would normally be using, which is the custom add to cart widget. And if you do a search for custom, you will find it. Now, what's good about this is that it does show the variation. But the trouble is that you don't get much styling options. You can go over to it. You can decide if it's going to be on the left or right or middle, but it only touches the button below. And when it comes to the styling of this, it is very, very limited. Like you can see there's like a shadow effect at the top. You can start messing around with this to your heart's content. It ain't going to make a sod at all difference. And if you want to give this a border radius, well, look, the border radius only affects the button. And you are very limited to styling options like you can't get rid of the background color here. You can't add a bit more padding inside of the selector box. You can't even change the color of your clear button. So it's coming out of purple at the moment. So as far as styling goes, it's really limited. Here is an exact copy of that widget. And I'm just going to go to responsive and I'm now going to show it to you. And can you see the differences? We don't have a background color over there. We have a little bit of padding. The color here for the clear button now matches the branding that I've decided to apply. Yes, I've got the rounded border radius here, which is the same as what we had below. But now we've got a bit of border radius here as well. And I've got rid of that shadow line. So how do we do that? Really, really simple with a bit of CSS. And here's the CSS and it will be in the video description. So this changes the header. Basically, this one over here. This changes the variation, which is this box. This changes the select as well to add a little bit in. There are slightly variations there in the selectors or the class names, but go with it because I have tested this out. This allows you to change the color of the clear cart. So if you want to have a completely different color, you can do that. And this allows you to change the box around here. So here we go. We've got a bit of a border radius. And do you notice the box shadow is set to none? If you decide you want to add in a background color, you can do, but most of them I've set them to be transparent. So when you come to view this, and I'm just going to hit save and back so you can see both styles on the screen at the same time now, that is the old style. That is now the new one. Okay, and look, you can see uh, if you were not going to show the variations or there were none, because this is a simple product and these two do have attributes and variations. This one here does still look nicer than that one. I don't know about you, but being able to have some control over the look at it. And this, well, you got this background gray, which I hate. I really despise that. Like, why would you want that there? And the padding here is a bit close, whereas this one, it feels a little bit more spaced out. So going back to, well, why would you have this in the first place? What I said at the start was if you were using the traditional add to cart button and it says select options, you got to click it to go and see all the options. Well, now, if you were viewing this with only one custom add to cart, so I've got rid of the other one, I've got add to cart there so I can go and do that if I want. But now I can just go and pick my options. So if you were going to have like your preview card like this and you didn't want to install like a quick view widget or anything like that, most of the time, quick view widgets just give you a bit of a description, which you could also technically enable with like a hover effect. So the minute you hover over it, maybe a disk description appears over the image. Got a bit of code for that. You can go and have a look at that. Hover reveal with CSS. But this, I think, is better. I can change the variation. I can hit add to cart or I could clear as well. And it's all within the loop grid using the custom add to cart, which was always there. I'm not showing you anything super brand new, but you've got this CSS styling that you can now apply that's missing from the standard widget. I hope Elemental adds these CSS styling or these 
options or toggles or whatever's into the widget so that you don't have to keep adding in CSS. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you soon.